Your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Well, temperatures today feel more like June than April 2nd. 85 degrees right now at the Kirksville Regional Airport. A lot of sunshine, beautiful out there. Winds are out of the south. 10 miles per hour. Humidity levels 38%. Dew point 57, Atumwa coming in at 84. Uh, sunny skies as well. Winds are a little breezy out of the south at 16 miles per hour. Humidity levels 49%, dew point 63. Again, another day we cannot complain about just on the warm side, but I am not complaining at that, and I hope you are not too, uh, because we are going to see some cooler temperatures moving in. But we'll continue with some mild temperatures for tonight, as well as more rain chances moving in as we're looking ahead at the future cast at 4 a.m. A very slight chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm, especially over southeast Iowa, not really mounting to that much. Also, as we're heading into tomorrow afternoon, a slight chance of some more showers and thunderstorms. Right now, no severe weather is expected. The Storm Prediction Center does not even have us in a slight risk of severe weather, though things could always change, so we're going to keep an eye on that. But right now, maybe some stronger thunderstorms, so we'll have to uh, deal with that for tomorrow, as well as more moisture moving in from the south as we head into the middle of the week. Overnight lows for tonight around 59 degrees. Mostly clear skies, southwest winds light 5 to 10 miles. Look at all this moisture from the Gulf of Mexico moving up from the south as well as we have a low pressure system over Denver. The central Rockies on the back side of this much colder air. In fact, uh, Denver, Colorado uh, is seeing some snow. Well, we're not, thank goodness for that. But we are going to see some rain continuing to push in. Uh, some, I'm not expecting a lot of heavy rainfall right now for tomorrow, maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch, possibly maybe up to a half inch as we're heading into Wednesday night and into Thursday. Uh, but uh, not no flooding or anything like that to worry about. So that's a good thing. For tomorrow afternoon, a little bit cooler, 73 degrees with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. The winds are switching to the northwest. That's bringing in that cooler air, uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow night, 48 as your overnight low with rain chances continuing. Northeast winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And the five-day forecast, look at the temperatures going south, 57 degrees on Thursday, Wednesday 62 with a 50% chance of showers, 57 on Thursday, 40% chance. We're finally drying out and at least back up into the 60s, 62 on Friday. A lot of sunshine, but that's only going to stay around for one day because we have a chance of showers and thunderstorms on Saturday, 69 degrees. Overnight lows into the 40s and even into the upper 30s as we wake up on Friday morning. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So I'm hoping that the Easter Bunny won't have to have an umbrella no or a raincoat on mm -hmm. Sunday. Hopefully mm -hmm. the rain will be out of here, just contained on Saturday, and Sunday will be a wonderful day. We can only hope so. We can only hope. I hope for the Easter Bunny. So. Yeah, yeah, you have to feel for the Easter Bunny. I do. I, I like bunnies, so. <laughs> we'll hope for the best all the way around on Easter Sunday. I'm right? hoping. Okay.